Hey guys, welcome back to Yokai Watch Puni Puni and the Extreme Budokai Rages On. I just cleared one of my rounds and Extreme Blizzaria shows up to battle. I don't know how common this is, but Extreme Blizzaria is tribe restricted. Okay, so that probably means, yeah, we need to switch up our team a whole heck of a lot because we need to beat her. Okay, so I'm pretty confident about this team. We have a half brave, half enma team, and I think that's what they kind of want you to use here since um, Extreme Shogun Yan is a part of the event. But uh, yes, from what I can gather and from what other players have been telling me, if we defeat Extreme Blazaria, then the Rene stage gets easier. It doesn't actually unlock it. To unlock the Rene stage, which is the penultimate goal here, in the Extreme Budokai, we just gotta have to clear 15 rounds, and then it's unlocked forever. I like that. However, I'm not sure what bonuses we get for defeating Blazaria. Some people said she has a higher chance than normal to drop pieces for the, um, like, treasure for unlocking all of the, uh, other yokai that aren't Rene. And oh my gosh, this yokai is doing a ton of damage. But I do have Silk King and his ultimate fully maxed out. There's not a lot of Silk King on board. I mean, there kind of is, but there's just this little chain, but stinking. I'm not gonna have enough HP, oh my gosh. All right, so that first round was a bust. However, I think I can do this. My team composition might not be the best. We have Enma Awoken and Dark God Enma, along with Silk King. So that's giving us a lot of base HP. And we also have Crystal Shogun Yan, so if we do get hit, there is a chance that we can block it. I probably need to add more Extreme Yokai to my team though, because um, since I have so many, they actually get an HP bonus when you actually enter the round, but, uh, oh gosh, we're already half HP, crap. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to, oh my god, <laughs> I didn't even click it. We gotta restart, because, uh, this is not going well. Oh my gosh, she does a lot of damage. It, this is even, this is even the Extreme Yokai's leader. This is just, like, not, just one of her minions. I don't know, oh Stinking. Let's just keep trying to get, oh my gosh, that's all, oh, I thought it was 13, it was 12, but we got Silk King on board. Now all I just need is Dandori, so we can get our super booster. God dang, I don't have Dandori, I feel sorry for y'all, but, uh. Okay, we're good to go. Um, let's pop his ultimate, and then use Silk King, and hopefully, this is doing the damage, she does have a counter attack. That's a little scary, not gonna lie, but, that's, oh my gosh, are you kidding? What the dog? That didn't do enough damage? Holy crud, dude. Okay, new game plan. Uh, luckily I've not lost to her technically yet, so we gotta keep re-challenging. But from what I can gather, she might actually stop us from boosting all together. So here's what I'm gonna do now. We're gonna get Dark God Emma alive. His ultimate is almost maxed, and it's pretty darn strong. At the end of the day, he's just a, like, popper, but seriously, this is still a lot of damage. If we do this, and then a Silk King Sultimate, we might just barely do enough damage. I don't know for sure if she stops boosts, but something's really off. Like, Silk King has damage up against the- oh my gosh, that wasn't enough. Okay, um, what is the fastest one I can get? Oh my gosh, it's gonna have to be Emma Woken, okay. So she stopped damaging us, which is good, but... Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be enough damage. I'm just gonna have to use two Silk Kings, I think. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get it off. No, okay. Here we go. Hopefully this counterattack doesn't... Ki no, we have Dark on Emma. We're fine. Okay. So first act done. Extreme Bazaria. Really, really hard. We didn't get a treasure drop. That's okay, though. I'm just happy to have her... Oh my gosh! I need a level up so <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. All right. I guess we figured out why that stage was so hard. Yeah. Silk King is a lot stronger if he's not at level one. Anyways, one extreme yokai defeated. Let's move on to the next round and see if we can bump into the other one. Pretty sure. Yes, okay, that was it. So, I got all the treasures to unlock doubles. Who is just an A rank heartful yokai? Nothing really too exciting about him. However, now that we've cleared out this treasure page, that's one down, three more to go, and sadly the next one doesn't reward a new yokai, it's just a soul secret, it's literally just one, but oh well, that's still some progress. Okay guys, uh, time skip a little bit, but playing a lot more. Now we're going up against Extreme Noko. You might know this is one of our strongest allies, because he has the passive ability to give us more Y points, but also, um, 
outside of that, he does make Rene weaker if we can defeat him. Currently, I have just Lazaria defeated, so this will be our second extreme yokai of the tournament. Now, only these yokai appear in this form, Lazaria and Noko. The other ones you have to encounter through the Budokai. There's a random chance that they're gonna be in the tournament, and it's, you know, you gotta beat them. Just, oh my gosh, it's hard to commentate and talk, but, oh my gosh, oh yeah, that did a lot, that did a little more damage, okay? God dang, but uh, since we have Silk King and damage up on this fight, oh my gosh, we might actually lose. Uh, I really need to get another Silk King up, actually. I'm pretty sure that'll be enough. Nope, it wasn't, oh god, oh god, okay. We have the revive, but still, um, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to get Silk King up, but. We beat him with just popping Boonie, but uh, yes, that's another. Extreme Yokai defeated with the power of Silk King. Gotta say, he makes this event a whole lot more manageable, but not required. I really like that. If you have a strong Brave team, be okay. But uh, with that being taken into consideration, we're still not done with the Budokai. All right, I'm pretty sure this is round 15. I have not been keeping track. Uh, we also defeated Extreme Snartle in this round. And I think at rank 15, yes! Okay, we got some new dialogue, and Rene and Enma will have a little exchange, I guess. Maybe they're a nemesis, or, no, yeah, Rene really despises the Enma tribe, despite also being one. That's kind of odd, but at round 15, we now permanently unlock Rene's stage to battle, and now we're going to see the seals and stuff. So basically, for every extreme yokai we defeat, Rene gets weaker up to six seals. So there's Blazaria, there's Noko, and there's Snartle. Now you're knowing that there's two more extreme yokai that we haven't seen, and the last seal is to clear 50 rounds of the Budokai. That will take god dang forever, so I'm not gonna do that. However, this team has served me well, I think will be good enough to take on Rene. From what I can gather from other players playing the game, he can heal himself with basically, like, point balls. It's kind of odd, but this apparently is one of the more dynamic boss fights we've ever seen in the game. So, here we go. And it comes down to this. The final challenge against the leader of the extreme yokai. Oh my gosh. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty pumped up, but... Oh my gosh, he healed for 4,000? What the... Okay, so I see the balls now. I guess they pop and... No, we gotta, like, make large puny and pop them. Okay. That's kind of difficult when, like, the yokai's do- Alright, I'm just gonna completely ignore those, because, like, there's no way you can keep popping those and win via War of Attrition. So just getting a fever. Pop our ultimates. Need Silk King up, though. Where the crud is Silk King? Oh my gosh, I need- I need- Where the- Oh my god, okay. We're just gonna pop Dandori first, see the counterattack. Alright, counterattack damage, not that bad, actually. But he does drain our ultimates. That's an issue. Okay. Let's try and- Ah, Dandori's boost is gone. Dang it. Alright, that did- <gasps> What?! That did no damage! What the crud? Okay, let's see what Silk King can do then. He doesn't have a boost, sure, but like... Maybe that can... Okay, that did... Barely... Oh my gosh, guys. What the crud? This is ridiculous! I don't... We can't beat this. What the crud? Are there any other damage up yokai? What the dump? Okay, uh, yeah, that is hard. What the crud? Help me out, game. How do I beat Rene? Oh my god. Okay, guys, here we are back in the tournament ladder. I encountered Extreme Shogunyon, which is the last extreme yokai I need to take down. Now, these fights are pretty tough. The yokai are going to hit you with a lot of damage really quickly. However, on some of them, you can continue. So it's not really that big a deal as long as you have 500 Y money running around. So in this specific scenario, we're not even tribe restricted, but... Yeah, Extreme Shogun Yon does 900 damage a turn, which is kind of a problem, so I'm gonna try and get up Silk King as fast as possible. But, since I defeated Extreme Venoct already in the tournament, this is the last seal I need to be able to take on Rene. So, apparently Shogun Yon nerfs her HP and Venoct nerfs the damage. So if we can just survive this round, okay, the revive helped us out. I, I'm always so scared, dude. I've never really used uh, Dark God Emma all that often in boss fights, so I'm not used to him bringing me back to life and all that, but let's get uh, Dandori live, pop that, and Extreme Shogunyun is probably not going to stand a chance. So, I think this is probably the most creative event NHN has made in a very long time. You have this brand new archetype of yokai. They all give debuffs, once defeated, to their leader and make it possible to defeat him. 
That is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty darn creative. It even, like, does a new spin on the whole stinking Budokai system, which they didn't even have to remix. We could just add a Budokai. Everyone probably would have liked it still, but they went outside and thought outside of the box. I like that a lot. Anyways, this one being finished, I think now I'm fine. How did, how did Extreme Venog lose the total dude? What the? Now we should be good to fight Rene. I'm pretty darn sure. So, yeah, we have that one, and that decreases his HP, I'm pretty sure. I know one of them decreases the healing he gets from the point balls, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna use the same team as before. I thought about using Extreme Shogunyan, but I don't have his Jisoo Ultimate leveled up hardly at all, so we're probably not gonna go down that route, but... Okay, it's focus time, guys. I'm really determined to beat this crap, god dang. What is the Adori? No! Okay, I don't I don't really like the board set up on this one. I might reset. No, we can do this. We can do this. Just gotta have really, really good luck. We're blinking up, not bad. There's a lot of Dark God M on the field. I can probably get that going. Like right now, actually, crud. Okay, I need the West Silk King, but my plan is to use um the fact that it, uh Goku Oh my gosh, no. Crystal Shogunyan has a G Ultimate. So we're gonna get his ultimate maxed out a fair amount, right? And then Rene is gonna drain it, but he can still use his normal ultimate, right? So that's the idea I have going into this battle. We're really good on HP. Our damage is not looking hot. Oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna be able to. What the crud? Oh my gosh, dude, this is looking bad. Okay, so I couldn't find Dandori when in the sinking fever, which is pretty cruddy. But I, I think that yeah, I think we can do this. Maybe. No, we gotta reset. God dang it. I need to do that all in fever. Gosh, dude, this is really stressing me out. Okay. My plan is, have Dan Dory, have Silk King, and have Crystal Shogunyan all live inside of Fever. We have five debuffs that should be enough damage to knock this yokai out. Because apparently, this is the toughest boss that has ever been in the game, ever. So, pretty rough. We gotta keep that in mind. So I can't go sandbag in here. Let's, okay, got perfect. Dan Dory up. Now all we gotta do is worry about Silk King, and there's so much Silk King on the sinking screen that is really good for us and we also have a little bit of crystal shogunyan's jisoo ultimate which is what i need oh my gosh we got oh my gosh we got this we have so much hp oh my god here we go just a little bit more okay let's feed don't want to mess that up we got 17 holy donuts i think we can do this oh my gosh please 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 oh my gosh no i screwed up i used crystal shogunyan before i was supposed to oh my gosh no 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 I was supposed to use Dan Dory. Oh my gosh. Okay, we, we maybe still salvage this. Come on. We need some big damage. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. I think that's enough. I don't know how much. It, I think that's enough. Yes! Holy crud, I beat him. Please drop. Please drop. Please drop. Um, you know what? That's fine. That's fine, dude. I don't even care. This fight is so stinking hard. Oh my gosh. Even with all the debuffs. I mean, I could have got the last debuff, but whatever. Holy crud, dude. That was intense, and Rene has been defeated by our party of yokai. God dang, dude. What a battle. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I gotta repeat it. So Rene joins my team. Holy crud, dude. Let's get it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is taking me an hour, dude. Non-stop fighting Rene. After 24 attempts. The first ever Z rank has befriended us. Oh my gosh. Now, after a lot of leveling up, here he is. Rene, the extreme yokai's leader, is the first ever Z rank. If you see at the bottom, for the first time ever, there's two new things here a level 60 yokai, which has never happened before until today, and over 1,000 attack stat, which is even higher with the extreme yokai bonus like th this is crazy like oh my gosh on top of that he has a g ultimate which i'm i'm not sure if i want to level up or not i mean like what the, what crazy yokai are they gonna add now you know like i kind of want to save them and a skill which is essentially the same as extreme venoct making this guy basically a enma version of my favorite yokai in puni puni but God dang, this ultimate is insane. The damage output is crazy. The model, they like, they went all out with this dude. I, I am so 
god dang happy how they handled this yokai, how they handled this event, and uh, I gotta say, his animations and like his models seem pretty unique. I thought he was just gonna be like a carbon copy of Enma, but no, he's got like distinctly different animations and everything, so to unlock the Z rank yokai to his max potential, you actually have to spend 2,000 Y points, not Y money, which I was like, what the crud, that's insane, but just to get an idea for the damage output and like sinking just the insane numbers we can deal with this yokai. I brought five of my best boot or no, four of my best boosters and this insanely devastating yokai and let's see what he can do, I guess. I mean, oh my gosh, dude, like I'm not going to lie. I was uh at one point thinking, "Wait, is this even how we get Rene?" cuz I was feeding him so many donuts. He just would have refused to join me, but Finally here. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so stinking happy right now. Sadly, we're not going to be able to see his max potential because with this event, there is the Snake King Mizuchi, who is the first ever Enma booster. And I don't know, god dang, how tough it is going to be get him. I don't think there is anyone that has a Mizuchi in the game yet, but we're seeing there the uh, passive that gives us some of our ultimate gauge for Rene when he... Uh, gets hit, which is really cool in conjunction with uh, all the other pre-existing yokai we have, which I'm a big fan of, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so, yeah, I guess let's just go for this, pop those, and do that a little bit. Where the crud, <laughs> where the crud is he? Where he at? Where he at, Demon Dare Falcon? There he is. Okay, so, let's get into fever and try this out. So, first up, Maiden Ruin. I'm gonna use your super boost. Gonna use Demon Dare Falcon super boost. Then Dandori super boost. And then, not a super booster, but Gargrosa Awoken, pretty high attack stat for a booster. Let's just use him too, why the crud not? And here it is. The ultimate, sultimate from our first ever Z rank. Unlocks all six of the extreme yokai and basically destroys the screen. Almost a million damage, guys. Holy crud. If I had a Maiden Ruin and some of my boosters maxed out, I'm pretty sure that'd do even more damage, but... Holy crud, that is insane, and oh, I got one of the pages I think I needed. I might actually have this one. Yeah, I already have this one, bummer, but <laughs> god dang, dude. It also gives a 100% wide bonus boost for the event, but that's not really the main appeal here. This changes the game a whole heck of a lot. Now, the best possible team comp for, like, your stat total, Rene is going to be on it. And if they add even more Z ranks, dude, like, what? the sky's the limit in this game now, I gotta say. Things were getting a slightly bit dull in Puni Puni, you know, uh, triple S rank, triple S rank. But the Z ranks change a whole heck of a lot, and I'm really excited about this. Oh my god. Should we use Rene against Rene? I kind of want to try that, actually. <laughs> it's probably not going to go well, but hey, we'll see. Oh my gosh, 6,000. Holy crud, dude. 6,000 attack? Like, that's. Cr I mean, you can get 7,000 attack as well, but like, seriously, that's a. Cr that's a lot of damage, all I'm saying, but uh. Let's try this out again. I don't know if you can continue to recruit Rene. I don't know anyone crazy enough to try and max him out via this method, but uh, I just want to see what our damage output is going to be like. So probably um, at the end of the day, uh, Silk King is probably going to do more damage, but what can you, what can you do? You know, he's, he's literally here to be able to beat Rene. I have seen people actually defeat Rene without uh, the help of, um, what's it called? Silk King at all. They just use a really strong Brave team, so that's also an option if you're uh, playing and having some difficulties taking him down, for sure. But, uh, two more Dandori. There we go. Down. Oh my gosh, I'm so sticky inside here. There's just so much I want to try. Like, what is Score Attack going to be like now? They're never going to be able to let the uh, Enma Tribe out to play, you know? That's, like, insane. That's just so much damage, you know? But then again, Enma is rarely a type in Score Attack. But same strat as before. We use Silk King. Pop him. We actually don't have Dark God Emma anymore, so the counterattack might legitimately kill me, but we'll see. And let's unleash the might of the Goku Yokai and do some extreme damage. Yeah, that's gonna do eh, about a little bit of damage just for two. Let's use our. Wait. Oh, yeah, we maxed out that Yokai, so we literally can't use the Holy Donut. But uh, despite that, yeah, we. In the original base form, when Rene has um like 700,000 HP. Holy crud, I don't know any yokai team comp that can beat him, so I think you pretty much have to go with, uh, oh my gosh, that's actually really good white points, hold up. Is this like good grinding for white points? I think so. 
crap. I'm gonna have to hit that up again, but uh, we're still not done with this event, guys. Now, this is kind of controversial, but this yokai at the very bottom right here, he is probably also going to change the whole game a lot. Let's head uh, to the medallion and check it out. That's not the medallion, but the first ever Enma booster and our first ever triple S rank booster yokai, which is probably gonna be one of the more powerful just yokai for a while. The issue is everyone, and I mean everyone, is trying to get that yokai because, come on, he's awesome, but using Yoko Dori mode, which is basically the stealing mode, has a lot of like bonuses and a lot of downsides. So he would go right here. Currently, I have every single Enma tribe yokai. Right here is uh, the other yokai, just Android Yamada S rank. I don't need him. So I kind of really want to go after him, but it's really, really stressful. And with Yokai Watch Blasters coming out in North America this week, actually, I'm not sure if I can get them, but I'm going to try, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. I'm going to continue to test with Rene and see the insane combos that we can use with this Yokai. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. It's super awesome that we started our Puni Puni adventure with Goku Venox at the start of this giant arc for Yokai Watch Puni Puni, and we ended off with their leader, who is more or less an extremer copyrighted word that I just made up. Uh, variant of that Yokai. So stinking awesome. I love this event. I love all the theming. I love the extreme Yokai. I hope you have an extreme day. And see you guys next time. For more Yokai Watch Puni Puni. Because chances are we're gonna have that stealing mode and it's gonna be a nightmare. See you guys then. Bye.